Hello, it's Mark Matosh here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using our existing cave tile and giving it a warp. Fairly straightforward. So, let's go into edit mode, and what are we going to pick? Um, well, the first question is, how, how thick do we want it? So, I'm thinking if we got two boxes here, and we need to times it by 25, we know that this is one millimeter times 25. That means point two of a millimeter times 25 which means five mil half a centimeter i think that's enough for a wall thickness and especially if you join two tiles together back to back you get a centimeter thick wall um, i don't want to come in all the way here because then we lose half a gaming tile so we can still use our uh, edge here how high do we want it to go I'm thinking not too high because it cuts down on printing time. We can use large figurines. So where are we going to go? I mean, we could even go 10 mil. It's not a lot though. Let's go 20 mil. Funnily enough, I don't know how much 20 mil is. Point 20 calculator. So if I want it 20 mil high, that's a big calculator. We want 20 divided by 25. Let's try that again. 20 divided by 25 equals 0.8. So we're going to go up 0.8. So well, we've got 0.2 here. So here we go. So if we go up to this box here, that's our 0.8. So I'm just going to grab, let's grab this box here. Shift D Z. And I'm just going to bring that all the way up. Let's go flush against the edge. And we want to make sure that it is on the edge. So I'm going to select these faces, press N and bring up our side view. Let's click item. And on the X axis, we want it to be minus one. And now we know that that is exactly minus one. This is on the Y axis. We want this to go to one. Um, what we might do is I might go delete vertices delete vertices and let's bring this over to negative one enter and so now that runs the whole length of our tile and I'm going to select this GZ bring that into our mesh and to me that doesn't look too bad I'm fairly fairly happy with that size now let's pre-plan this how are we going to attack it? Uh, first off, let's create a face there just to close it off. So we should do a kind of uh, brickwork in here. So let's do that many bricks. <laughs> Shift D X and I'm going to use the edge loop again. Uh, control R and let's use the mouse wheel. Control B to bevel, delete faces so we'll select all these control L size Z and let's E to extrude that out G Y X push that back in let's just scale on the X uh, sorry on the Y just a smidgen there we go so it's overhanging a little bit so 3d printing wise I don't think we're gonna have to worry too much um, so let's bring up, do the next lot of bricks, Shift D, Z. Let's just move it down a little bit. G, Y. Let's move it over a little bit. G, Z. And let's grab this brick, Shift D, Y. So we're duplicating onto the other side. And what we'll do is we same thing we did before. Select that. That is going to be minus one. Um, we will leave it like that. And this will be our one. Beautiful. Now, first things first, let's kind of uh, break up the pattern. So I'm just going to select these. Whoops. Let's select all these all. Control L, P, uh, W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a few random points. I'm going to come up here into proportional editing and we're going to select random. Now let's just go GX, actually GY, GZ, GX, because we want to kind of you know, 
randomize the direction of the brick and that's seems good to me so we've kind of broken that up um, let us select all that control L and we will smooth shade smooth and we've got our bricks brilliant we're going to turn that off let's select all these up again control L and shift D on the Z axis so we press Z done and what we can do is let's flip this back to front just to break up the repetition so scale Y oops, let's turn off that proportional editing scale Y minus one and that's kind of reversed it let's see is this still that seems fine there excellent is this edge straight and that is no this edge is not straight so now if I go scale Y zero ever so slightly that is now straight S Y zero beautiful and let's just grab this one more time control L shift yeah you know what's going on <laughs> so we've got this brick tile and our wall beautiful what about a corner piece easy stuff so I'm going to select our object shift D Y and all I'm going to do is press I can press C and I can just select all this make sure we've got everything control L I'm just literally going to shift D rotate 90 degrees and let's just try and plop that in the exact same spot there we go how's this looking scale x gx and our back pieces here aren't straight either scale X nope Y zero that is now straight scale Y X zero <laughs> and we can see we've got bricks protruding which is not what we wanted so I'm just going to select these bricks control L control L G Y X going a little bit there we go all right, that should be fine. That should be fine. So we've got a corner piece. We've got our wall piece. Um, what we can do as well, let's just duplicate this one more time. Shift D, Y, and I want to delete some of this. So I'm going to do Control R to do an edge loop. Control B to bevel. And we want to make a one piece doorway. Let's go delete faces. And what we'll do is select that face, select that face to kind of close off that area. Let's delete these control L delete vertices. That one there as well. Control L delete vertices. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to select these faces. And I'm just going to turn on proportional editing, just quickly lazy, connected only, G, X, Y. Okay, let's bring that in. And I'm just going to kind of push it in there. And we'll do the same for this side. G, Y. Look. <laughs> G, Y. And there we have it. We've got three tiles now. We've got a doorway, we've got a wall, and we've got a corner piece. So let's go print them off and we'll just use the same settings as last time. And here you go. This is the basis of a dungeon tile set. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, keeps you up to date with my content and it really helps me out.